Jupiter is the biggest planet in our solar system. The gas giant has always been unknown to us thanks to its distance from Earth. However, NASA's Juno mission has uncovered a lot of information and misconceptions we've had about the biggest planet in our neighborhood. Let's take a look at some incredible discoveries made in the past couple of years, including the latest discovery that is sure to blow your mind. NASA launched the Juno space probe back in 2011 with the objective of solely studying Jupiter. The space probe has since made some amazing discoveries on the gas giant, including the giant red spot on the planet. The space probe arrived at Jupiter's orbit in July 2016 and has since been sending us valuable data. Jupiter's atmosphere is similar to Earth's oceans. It is a well-known fact that Jupiter is a gas giant. The planet acquires most of its mass from its thick and dense atmosphere. Studies on the planet's atmosphere have revealed much similarities between Earth's oceans and Jupiter's atmosphere. According to Leah Siegelman, an oceanographer at University of California, San Diego, the cyclones at Jupiter's pole appear to share similarities with ocean vortices she studied during her time as a doctoral student. NASA explained that the simplified model of Jupiter's pole shows that geometric patterns of vortices, like those observed on Jupiter, spontaneously emerge and survive forever. This means that the basic geometrical configuration of the planet allows these intriguing structures to form. Although Jupiter's energy system is on a scale much larger than Earth's, understanding the dynamics of the Jovian atmosphere could help us understand the physical mechanisms at play on our own planet. The Giant Red Spot Case Study Jupiter's Great Red Spot, which happens to be a massive storm, was discovered centuries ago. Recently, scientists at NASA and Israel's Wiesman Institute of Science have learned about its structure and depth by analyzing data transmitted from the Juno probe. The project relied on an innovative method developed by scientists for analyzing the inner structure of planetary winds using gravity measurements. The joint research team reported in science and in geophysical research letters that Jupiter's red spot extends about 500 kilometers below the planet's cloud. They had earlier discovered that the high-velocity jet streams responsible for Jupiter's iconic bands and zones extend downward from the clouds to a depth of about 3,000 kilometers. New interpretation of the ammonia data collected by Juno's microwave instrument supplied evidence that the jet streams are part of circulation systems similar to Earth's atmospheric feral cells. Earth has two feral cells, one in each hemisphere, and they play an important role in the planet's climate. The research team found that Jupiter, which is 11 times bigger than Earth, has 16 feral cells. This is the first direct evidence of such cells on a gaseous planet, providing insights into climate dynamics on Jupiter. Jupiter Swallows Baby Planets The most recent discovery on Jupiter is perhaps the most mind-boggling one so far. Scientists recently found that the innards of Jupiter are filled with the remnants of baby planets that the gas giant gobbled up as it expanded to turn into the behemoth seen today. According to a report on Space.com, the findings come from the first clear view of the chemistry underneath the cloudy outer atmosphere of the planet. According to Yamila Miguel, lead researcher of the study and astrophysicist at Leiden University in the Netherlands, Jupiter was one of the first planets to form in the first few million years when the solar system was taking shape approximately 4.5 million years ago. Nonetheless, added Miguel, they know nearly nothing for sure about how the planet formed. In the new research published in the Astronomy and Astrophysics Journal, researchers were finally able to peer past the obscuring cloud cover of Jupiter using gravitational data collected by the Juno Space Force of NASA. The data allowed the team to map out the rocky material at the giant planet's core, which showed a surprisingly high abundance of heavy elements. The chemical construction suggests that Jupiter devoured baby planets, or planetesimals, detailed in Universe Today to fuel its expansive growth inside Jupiter's giant atmosphere. The new research also showed another interesting finding. Specifically, the insides of Jupiter do not mix well with its upper atmosphere, going against what has been previously expected by scientists. The new model of the insides of Jupiter reveals that the heavy elements the planet has absorbed have stayed largely near its core as well as the lower atmosphere. The study authors had assumed that convection mixed up the atmosphere of Jupiter so that hotter gas near the core of the planet would rise to the outer atmosphere before cooling and falling back down. If this were the case, the heavy elements would be more evenly mixed throughout the atmosphere. However, certain regions of Jupiter may have a small convection effect, and more research is needed to determine what is happening inside the gas giant's atmosphere. Potential Planetesimal Origin the study findings could also change the origin stories for other planets in the solar system. Miguel explained that Jupiter was the most influential planet in the solar system's formation. 
The lead researcher added that the planet's gravitational pull helped shape the orbits and size of its cosmic neighbors, thus determining how it came to have essential lock-on impacts for other plants. The results also suggest a potential planetesimal origin for other gas giants in the solar system, Uranus, Saturn, and Neptune. Other gaseous worlds and other star systems might have formed as well by gobbling up planetesimals instead of pebbles, which means they have higher metallicity too than their appearance suggests. Consequently, it is essential that the study authors have found these new worlds, which are being searched for using the James Webb Telescope of NASA, they don't judge them by their cloudy covers according to researchers. That's all for today's video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.